What is that? Can you see that? Yup. We out here. We be in the city. We be in the city. The city of Patty. And cultured. So we're at the Keklovic Airport. It's like 5 in the morning, 4.40 something. Got a quick flight to go over to Paris. Super cool shoulder driver back there. He was awesome, had us jamming early in the morning. <laughs> Just landed in Paris, left Iceland, had like a six o'clock flight. I think we actually left at like 6.25. So now it's like 11.50. I just got off the plane. So the adventures continue. We went from Iceland, we were there for a few days and we took a flight over to Paris. <laughs> The number one thing I wanted to do there was I wanted to see the Eiffel Tower at night because I had been before but I had never seen the Eiffel Tower at night. And I was like, the only thing I want to see is the Eiffel Tower and then I... So we are at the metro station down here in Patty. The machine says it takes credit cards. Whenever we put the credit card in, it gets denied. So I'm not sure if it has a bank card. So now she's trying to put in some money. This has been very interesting. I'm trying to get on the train. I'm trying to make it to the Eiffel Tower. We're going to get on this train somehow. We might have to jump the turnstiles. Okay, go back down. I'm trying to get in there. That's all I'm trying to do. The struggle has been so real. <laughs> This has been crazy. <laughs> oh, this. It takes you and me, right? We're, we're the ones it takes fight. two to get some tickets, right? <laughs> we got some tickets? Yeah, we got tickets. Now I'm not going to get a receipt. Tickets! Woo! Finally. So after having some serious challenges making it through <laughs> train stations, <laughs> For real, trying to buy tickets without cash. Struggling with that a bit, taking long journeys through stations. As you can see behind me, Boop. we made it here, Eiffel Tower. I came to Paris before and I saw the Eiffel Tower, but it was during the daytime. I never saw it at night, so we're waiting for the, the night lights or what have you, but this is pretty cool. We have made it, Eiffel Tower, Eiffel Tower, Eiffel Tower. Literally, as soon as we got off the train, came up the escalator or stairs, whatever they were, went to the edge of the building, made a left, and like the Eiffel Tower was right there just in its glory. This is what I've been waiting on. Not all of my life, but a nice little bit of it. Look at this. Will you look at this? I was like, I'm cool. I don't have to do anything else for the rest of the trip because this is why I came. So I made it out here. The number one reason I came to Paris was to see this. I came before, it was during the daytime, and I never got to see the Eiffel Tower at night, so I was like, I want to see this lit up at night. And we literally just got off the train. We got here like super early this morning. We had a six o'clock flight from Iceland, which is like, I forgot what time it was in America. It was crazy early. So we kind of been up for like 24 hours, went to the hotel and just crashed. We were like, well, let's at least go see the Eiffel Tower at night because that's what we wanted to do. Literally got off the train, came up, hit the corner. I think we've been standing here like maybe seven minutes. And now we see that. Life is what you make it. <laughs> I wanted to see this and I was willing to pay whatever it took to fly over here. I wanted to see it in person. I didn't want to look at somebody else's video. I didn't want to look at it on TV. I wanted to see it myself. I've seen it myself. Now I can go get me some crepes and go to bed. Deuces. So 
bucket list item checked off the first night we got there and it was everything that i imagined i mean the eiffel tower at night is beautiful it's amazing i see why they call it the city of romance city of love in paris i hardly have any photos any videos just because i had all kind of technical issues when i was back at the hotel my phone wouldn't back up to wi-fi um so i couldn't get the pictures that were on my phone off of it i just got a new computer because of my old computer died that morning a beautiful city great food i remember we asked the guy at the hotel like, hey what's a good place to eat and he was like you're in paris it was, it was kind of like he was sincere almost like everywhere and he was right pretty much everywhere we ate we ate at like little corner stores and it was the bomb i mean the food there in paris really is amazing you want me to move it over there so you can take a better picture that'd be awesome I'm doing a video oh you do a video Oh, look, is that escargo? That is escargo, yes. And what's that on the side? Huh? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what those things are. I'll tell you after I eat one. <laughs> nice lumps of cheese. Yeah, big lumps of cheese. The feta. Is it like lava? Is it got some, it's some stuff that ooze out? Let's check and see. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. Yummy, creamy gooeyness. Yummy, creamy gooeyness. <sighs> I have fun. You know, Paris kind of reminded me of like New York in a sense where just the feel, the feel of it. You know, of course, a lot of our American cities are based on these other European cities. A couple of days later, we went up the Eiffel Tower. We are going on a walking tour. Actually, we headed up to the Eiffel Tower. Cut the line, this is our tour guide. She's full of energy and full of love. Let it go, let it go. <laughs> so we're getting ready to go up the Eiffel Tower, taking a, a, a tour. See if you can see what's behind me. Boom, what is that? Can you see that? Yup, we are here. We be in the city. We be in the city. The city of Paris. Wonder version in French. Wonder version in French. She's about to sing happy Joyeux birthday. Joyeux anniversary. Joyeux anniversary. Joyeux anniversary. Joyeux anniversary. To you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Turn down for what? Second floor. It's going to be on your left if you have a top floor ticket, please. You have to switch, you know. Second floor, the Eiffel Tower, which is really about 50 floors up. I don't know how far we are, but it's not the second actual floor. <laughs> She's like, this is the second floor. I'm like, okay. We ride it's it for a standard, minute. It's not the standard 10 feet per floor. Right, it must be like 30 feet mm -hmm. per floor. And apparently Paris has a downtown area. I don't know if there's uptown, midtown, side town. But they have these skyscrapers that I've never seen before. And down here is where we took the pictures the other night when we saw the Eiffel Tower lit up. We were like right down there. Boop. So yeah. It's pretty windy up here. We are in Paris. Okay. Bonjour, my friend. Ah, so we are at the top of the Eiffel Tower. That was like a one minute ride from the second, the so-called second floor, which is like 30 something feet up. Um, where's my crew? Now we're going up more. Just don't stop going up. I don't think you guys can see out that window. Top of the Eiffel Tower. That wind almost snatched my fall out of my hand. So at the top of the Eiffel Tower, there's some sort of oh display of 
that's the iPhone. Yep, that's in French. Ah, here we go. Accompanied by his daughter Claire. So let's take a look at. I guess that's his daughter in there. We look through. And one of these guys, I guess, is Mr. Eiffel. I see the name tag there, Gustav Eiffel. So I'm assuming that that's him right there. Though he looks a little more dignified, like he's talking down to him. But then again, maybe he's explaining to him he doesn't quite get it. Like, yeah, this thing is going to be awesome. The world is going to come see it. And he's like, nah, man, I don't really think people are going to want to come see this. He's like, yes, they are. Trust me. Look at my suit. I know what I'm talking about. And he's like, look at my suit and my shoes. I think I know more. So took the elevator up and got footage of that. That was really cool. And if you're ever in Paris and you have a chance to, because I didn't do this the last time I went prior to that, Go take the ride up the um, up the elevator and just check out the view when you get up there. Like the city looks amazing, you know. Life looks different from above. When you're down on the street, it's a you know totally different feel. But when you get up there, it's a whole different vibe. Uh, then we took a night river cruise around around the city. That was cool. I have absolutely no footage of that because by that time I had no more capacity. I was pretty frustrated about that, but it is what it is. I still have the memories. Unfortunately, I can't share that with you guys. But um, so we left Paris. Made our way on back to the U.S. at our stopover in Reykjavik. So we are leaving Paris. Uh, about to get on Wild Air the Terminal 1. About to make our way back to Reykjavik. So we can go to Boston and then ultimately to our respective destinations. It has been real. It is time to bounce. Wait, wait, now. Yes. Are you ready? Oh my goodness. We had like a one or two hour layover, and this is when we saw the snow. The funny part was while we were there, there was absolutely no snow, which I'm cool with because it was easy to drive. And the pilot said, welcome to Iceland. You know, the land where we have four seasons in a day. And it's true because like, it could be raining, sun to be out then all of a sudden it'll snow and then it like it'll just switch and it, it literally did that while we were on the plane like we landed it started snowing really bad like oh wow it's snowing look it's beautiful then as we were heading out it was like rain and clearing up again like wow that was quick so that was pretty cool rent a car i'm trying to think of the place where we rented a car i have to look it up and put it on the screen but um they were amazing i have to tell you about that we went and we rented the car we actually found the car while we were at the airport and found this company the folks were super amazing super friendly they came and picked us up from the airport we went back to their office they had free cocoa and i got sugared up on cocoa oh my god i was like bouncing off the wall with cocoa but the staff there was amazing i really wish i could think of their name right now but you know, I'll pop it up on the screen. So if you ever need to rent a car, check them out because they have a new, all of their cars are pretty much new because it's a younger company. I think the company's only been around like maybe three or four years or something. So their fleet is young and the people are super friendly, super helpful, um, young, vibrant crew. So yeah, check them out. Have fun in Iceland and hit your boy up. Let me know what you think. Let me know how your trip was. Share your pictures and until next time, I will... See you in the skies, deuces. So it's about midnight, finally landed here in Atlanta after about 12 hours of flying. That's 12 hours in a, in a plane, three different flights. First flight was from Paris to Iceland. Uh, second flight was Iceland to Boston. Final flight was Boston here. Exhausting, <laughs> had a long, had a fun week. I think we went, to, well I went to bed about two or three. I had to wake up at like seven. So I've been up ever since then. This is the other side of travel. Travel is fun. You know, you're going to all these wonderful places seeing <laughs> these really cool things, but <sighs> it can be exhausting. I'm tired. I'm ready to go to bed. I have two workshops to teach tomorrow. So hopefully, prayerfully, I have the energy to pull forth my best performance for those who are in attendance. I'm sure I will. God will be with me on that. But yeah, just want you guys to see this side too. <laughs> it's not all glitz and glam. Some long days, man. <laughs> I 
I'm ready to go to bed. I want to eat, but I'm ready to go to bed. I will see you guys in the streets or in the skies. Deuces. Oh, 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 o